What's up you guys, Namicon here, bringing you to my perspective of what entertainment is bringing us. And today, we will be talking about Mr. Osomatsu. An anime original series based on Fujio Akatsuka's 1962 ma manga series, Osomatsu-kun. There is no storyline to follow, it is a comedy series made by Studio Purit. The same guys that made Naruto, Black Clover, Great Teacher Onizuka, Yu Yu Hakusho, and Bleach. The series was made to celebrate Akatsuka's 80th birthday and it follows the Matsuno brothers. Uh, who are not only sextuplets, but they are also adults. So the show has a more adult-oriented humor. The sextuplets are Osomatsu, Karamatsu, Chonomatsu, Ichimatsu, Jushimatsu, and Totomatsu. And they are all voiced by Billy Kamets, Ray Chase, Sean Chiplock, Kyle McCarley, Michael Sinterniklis, and Max Middleman. And they grow up to be lazy shitheads. Who are not only uneducated, but they are also jobless. Each brother have their own distinguishing personality, and it follows them on their everyday lives. When the show debuted in Japan, it was huge. It was a bigger deal than One Punch Man, which that one was a big deal here in the US. Well, Mr. Osamatsu was a lot more niche. <laughs> this show is absolutely hilarious. Ever since I finished the Gintama anime, I needed something similar to its zaniness and Mr. Osomatsu delivered it. The brothers are absolute assholes and the jokes and their dickheadedness is just so funny. Osomatsu is an asshole, Kanamatsu only cares about himself, Chorobatsu is the straight man of, of the group but is also obsessed with an idol, heavily reminds me of Shinpachi from Gintama, Ichimatsu just doesn't care about anything, he, he's just bored. And says whatever is on his mind. Jushimatsu is the happy-go-lucky one of the bunch. And his screws, with his screws being loose. And is obsessed with baseball. And then there's Todomatsu. Who is the youngest of the group. And takes advantage of that. He uses his cuteness to manipulate others. There are skits that will make you laugh your ass off. And there are other skits that will make you very emotional. I remember a skip focusing on Jushimatsu saving a woman from suicide uh, had to leave. It ended because of his obsession. He used obsession with baseball. He uses his zaniness to make her laugh. And when the woman had to leave, it ended on a very happy note. In conclusion, Mr. Osomatsu is hilarious. It heavily reminds you of Gintama and Ed and Eddie with its comedy characters being absolute dickheads and the animation being incredibly distinct compared to other anime. So if you want a comedy show, give the show a watch. Although avoid the fanbase because apparently they are pretty toxic. So for the... Uh, so for the I, I did watch Mr. Osomatsu on Country Bowl when when it had a when it had a sub. Uh, uh the it, for it there for a few years there it did it, it, it was announced that it was getting a dub, but like it took way it took longer than it should. But uh, I think that's because uh, it's probably because uh, not only that uh, Shotomatsu was supposed to be Chris Niosi. But uh, he got he got replaced because he broke a, he broke an NDA rule from Nintendo, and uh, I think that's because um, they were doing season one and two back to back to back, which I applaud them for doing that. I didn't expect them to to dub season to get season two this soon. So yeah, do you do you like Mister Osomatsu? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Let me know in the comments down below. Make sure you subscribe to my make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't, and make sure you follow my Twitter, Discord, and Instagram down in the description down below. And this is Namicon, and I'll see you next time.